There's only one way to prove that these pieces form naturally, and that's to go to the source. Este es un, el último trabajo que hemos, que hemos empezado. Ah, oh, okay. Llevamos trabajando en esta galería alrededor de los oh, cuatro meses y medio. Es lo más rico, ¿no? Sí. Eh, eh, hemos dado con una zona donde hay bastante concentración de, de piritas y de piritas de calidad, piritas grandes. Es sí. increíble, muchas piritas. Sí, como puedes ver, la concentración es enorme. Uh -huh. Hay muchísima concentración y la, la pureza de los cristales son, bueno, son cubos perfectos. Hay algunos cubos de estos que medidos con un calibre dan aristas y ángulos iguales. Uh -huh. Que eso en la, en la naturaleza pues, no siempre es muy común. Ay, es amazing. <laughs> The perfect cube. With so much pyrite, nearly a million tons, there's definitely an industrial, economic value for this iron sulfide. But Pedro would rather share his country's art with the world. So we're lucky. Your passion takes an economic deposit and gives us the crystals. This is another part of the first level. We're in the zone B. Down below here, we have larger cubes which have formed in groups that are naturally together. Now, this is a rarer formation here because uh, normally you just get the single cubes. But when you get them forming and interlocking together, this is what collectors really like. Taking the larger, more expensive pieces out is an art unto itself. And with such a rich mine, it's easy to get distracted by the finds right beneath your feet. There's pyrites everywhere. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's hard to keep walking yeah. and not stop. Yeah, everywhere I, you look, there's pyrites. Well, I didn't even realize, until, but once you start focusing your eyes, cubic shapes on the ground. My pockets are full. Yeah. <laughs>